Hi everyone and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where today we're back here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach for the official media launch of Valhalla. So it's been three weeks since we actually came to ride Valhalla during technical rehearsal so I'm looking forward to seeing what's been done since we last was here. Just want to say a big thank you to Blackpool thank Pleasure you. Beach for inviting us down today and yeah the ride's been open most days for technical rehearsals over the past few weeks. We came down a couple of days into that filmed our initial vlog, our initial thoughts on it. And uh, yeah, there was quite a lot that still hadn't been turned on yet that we now know is in action, which is great. I think we're gonna be getting so <laughs> Yeah, we know the water vortex is on now, more fire effects, hopefully the, uh, up the audio in there because the levels were really low like before. So. It was a bit quiet. Uh, yeah, it was, and hopefully they've made some other changes as well. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. It was just a technical rehearsal phase. I reckon now, because this is the press launch, we're seeing it in its finished real form I, now. I think so, yeah. Yeah, definitely, but we'll uh, take you along, we'll share our thoughts and of course capture everything here at the Valhalla Media Day in May 2023. Let's go! So we're all checked into the event now and yeah got these lanyards and name tags here as well. Love the Valhalla logo on there. Theme Park Worldwide Media Day. Hey, I'm really looking forward to this. Get some rides in on Valhalla. So they've also gave us a nice Valhalla bag just here too. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. And inside we've got a poncho which I love. <laughs> Fun shine. Nice I think we're definitely going to need that. Oh, yeah. Nice notebook, which is nice, and a pen. There you go. I like the detail on the pen. Yeah, I do like the whole kind of black and gold branding that they've gone for, and that extends to the exterior of the ride and the boats as well on the reimagined like Valhalla. The yeah, definitely. Well, yeah, there's a look at those. We're going to make our way now inside. Here we go then, Charlotte's got a poncho on, ready to go. I'm not riding without a poncho, <laughs> so I'm not poncho, waterproof, I'm poncho. Hey, there he is, Mr. Funshine on the back. Yeah, I've got my waterproof trousers in the back, I don't know if to put them on or not, or just go for it. Close, so you'll be okay. We're going to get a few rides on there, and yeah, we're not having to talk or anything like that, we're going straight, straight into the rides down, down there. Uh, and also, they've told us we're going to be able to capture some footage of us on the ride. She's excited, I don't know how much you'll see, but <laughs> yeah. it'll be quite good fun. It's very dark in there, um, but we'll see. Yeah, you're going to be able to hopefully see Charlotte it gets so ice cream. rider cam footage of us on Valhalla. So yeah, we're gonna be heading out and round to the ride in just a moment. So we just have a huge group photo out the front of the ride. And yeah, I'm a big fan of all the mist and the changes that they made to the exterior just here. I think it looks great what they've done with all the trees and the waterfall just up there. And yeah, the huge photo opportunity with the Valhalla sign off to the left. So yeah, you've got the mist all the way. It comes out the top there as well. Yeah, it looks great from the exterior, doesn't it, now, what they've done. I'm excited to see what they've done inside since we last rode it. Yeah, a good few weeks, so. Yeah, so so let's see what it's like. Yeah, definitely. I'm just hoping, you know, we've seen all the effects back on now I and also so. audio as well has been really turned really up. On yeah, the, the thing is with the changes they made to the ride system, you can tell like the anti-rollbacks on the first lift deal are a lot noisier now uh, because they're brand new. They've got to try and balance it out with the audio, haven't they? Yeah, definitely. And get them levels all right inside the attraction. But yeah, we're going to be making our way on shortly. And we've got the characters down here out the front of Valhalla as well. Hey! <laughs> I love it. Ready to brave the adventure. Good morning everyone and welcome to the grand reopening of the reimagined Valhalla. I think this should be a really exciting day for all of you who are going to get drenched. Please <laughs> know that you're going to get absolutely soaking wet. I've got a few thank yous to say though first. Um, I'd like to thank all the team that have worked on this reimagining because it's been a long, hard, actually, an extremely long, hard process. I can honestly say that no one imagined ever that it would take this long to get this ride reopened. So I can honestly say to all of you that have been moaning, it's here. To all of you that have been moaning and have been supporting me, thank you all very much for your support always, actually. But um, it has been difficult getting this ride where it is today and I sincerely hope that you all have a fantastic time. Where's Adam Slavin? Where's Adam Slavin? Adam, where are you? He's hiding. I can't find him. Where is he? Oh, he's in the station. But I think that you will all agree with me when you've been this ride that Adam Slavin has done a tremendous job with his team to reimagine it and get it to where it is today. I think it's Valhalla back from the, the area that you go when you get to Valhalla. I don't know where it is, but uh, <laughs> anyway, where you, wherever you go on your journey in Valhalla, I think you'll have an amazing time today because truly 
this is a tremendous accolade to everyone at Pleasure Beach and to everybody that's worked on this ride and to Adam Slavin and his amazing, amazing design and engineering and everything else that we've been doing here. It's been a long, hard slog, but we've got here. Have fun, everyone. Woo! And I hope you've all got spare clothes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have. Hey. Thank you very much, Amanda. Right then, we'll see if we can check this one moment. We'll check if we've got all those ready. If anybody would like a quick photo with the Vikings, the A nice opening speech there from Amanda Thompson, OBE. As we make our way down here to Valhalla. Rain capes, not ponchos, rain capes. <laughs> oh, look at all the mist out here. You all right there, Charlotte? Hoods up. I'm ready. Ready to ride. Look at all this mist. That's the thing now, it gets you wet in the queue line before you even get on it. <laughs> oh, mist just out here. Look at that sign though, awesome. Yeah, they're bringing us in down the speedy pass entrance so you get a bit closer to the sign. Oh my God, look at this mist. Right, let's go and ride. Valhalla. Here we go then on Valhalla at Platform Pleasure Beach. <laughs> Got some clams coming from the boat. This is it, here we go. Are you ready to get soaked? I'm not. I don't know how much you're going to see on this, but we'll put in the full Rider Camp POV for you. It's very dark in there, so I don't know how much it's going to show up, but we'll go for it and we'll see what happens. Oh, <laughs> you get soaked out here anyway from the Blackpool weather. There we go. When fear leads the way, the destination is never glorious. If you desire a place in this world, my eyes.
top. That is terrifying when you can plummet it down towards it. It's right there. Oh, there we go. Brilliant. I don't know how much you saw it out, but fantastic. I really enjoyed that. Here comes Charlotte. Hey. Oh, we just had three rides on Valhalla. I've been on three times. And I tell you what, I just want to say from that, going around three times, it was fantastic, wasn't it? That. It was, even I enjoyed oh, it. Oh, we'll do a full uh, in depth talk through again shortly and oh. kind of compare it to a few weeks ago. But there we go. Charlotte's got a poncho on. You're still soaked That's underneath. Still soaked. Look at this. Three rides down without a poncho. Oh Absolutely soaked. But I tell you what, Valhalla, back with a bang. I really enjoyed that. On Valhalla later. Charlotte didn't go round for a fourth. No, I didn't. I did. You did well though, Charlotte, doing three. I did, balance. didn't I? Um, yeah, just gone round for a fourth go, and that was the wettest. You one are yet. soaked. Like, that was absolutely crazy, and there's an effect that I've just seen on that run that I haven't seen before that I'm going to talk about for you all in just a moment. But firstly, I'm absolutely dripping, so I'm going to get changed, get some fresh clothes on, and then we'll do a full walk through of the uh, different experiences and how it's varied um, from when we rode it a few weeks ago. But I really enjoyed that. It was, uh, yeah, absolutely. Absolute soaker, but it was so nice to get back on it again. Really appreciate the effects and the scenery. Um, yeah, fantastic. Really enjoyed it. Right then, just been back to the car, had a full change of clothes after four rides there on Valhalla. That is the way to do it, Charlotte. That last ride really <laughs> got you. It was absolutely so Yeah, I bet you're glad you didn't come yeah, on for a full yeah. time. Um, but anyway, what we're going to do now is a full run through of the ride experience. Bear in mind, we did this a few weeks ago when the ride was open for technical rehearsals. It is, of course, now officially open here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. I think it was certainly the right time for them to do that because all of the effects were working on there. And each of the four rides I had were all very similar which is fantastic to see. I think it's good that they've had that three weeks to sort of develop everything and make sure that everything's working ready for it to go fully launched. Yeah definitely and I think you know what they've done to the ride system on there was mainly the reason for them going in with more of a soft launch and then technical rehearsals because um, they've made some changes to the ride system itself. I think it was more getting all of that sorted exactly. um, rather than the effects themselves and then gradually turning the effects back on over the past few weeks. Um, yeah let's go into detail about our experience on Valhalla and yeah already like I've got a smile on my face Aww. after riding it again for four times absolutely amazing it makes me just want to get back on it again oh, just no. seeing that waterfall there behind <laughs> us fantastic um, you leave the station in the boat and uh, on the straight away you're greeted by this big waterfall that does turn off in front of oh, you I always panic in case we go under and it doesn't turn off and we just go straight through it and get soaked <laughs> I right have the seen beginning. that happen before in the past um, but so uh, yeah you make your way through there it turns off and then of course you're into the show building itself um, on on the right hand side you've got a statue which is static but well, that's where they start telling you a bit of the storyline and the backstory behind the ride in terms of the audio it has been turned up now in some areas however I still feel in some places the audio needs to be a bit louder yeah I'm still not a massive fan of the soundtrack I do prefer the older one but yeah, yeah I agree they do need to turn it up because in some sections you can barely hear it yeah especially when you're making your way through them first few scenes everywhere before you go into the cold room basically um, you know you've got this storyline that's ongoing you can hear it a lot better Better though than you could before. Um, then you make your way around, you've still got the dogs there on the right hand side, uh, and then you've got the two um, fake fire effects which are at either side of the boat. That did used to be real fire in original Valhalla, uh, that's now a faux fire effect, and that's the only real fire um, that's been replaced with fake fire. All the other real fire uh, is there at the end, which is fantastic. It's still quite a good effect though, if you know it's not real. Yeah, definitely, it looks quite good. Uh, and then of course you make your way up onto the lift hill itself, uh, which did used to to be a trommel tunnel it's now got skulls on the side with light shining through and before you just engage onto the lift you've actually got a big V that lights up which is really powerful actually. I think that's quite effective as you come around and it's just there in your face like quite bold lit up I do quite like that. Yeah it's great and with the skulls I feel like they've worked on the 
lighting a bit more there now as well. You've got a big Viking face where Odin used to be um, that was projections. Uh, that's been replaced and of course you've got like a, a more flat face just on there. However, some really good lighting effects which does help build up the atmosphere. And it sort of blows like smoke out of his mouth as you're going up. Yeah, it's a very nice effect. Uh, along with that, just wanted to point out, they made changes to the ride system. Uh, how noisy the lift is now with the anti-rollbacks. It's good they've spent the money on the ride system though. That's why it really needed the work. Um, and that's why I think they gradually phase things for the technical rehearsal because of that. Um, but yeah, what they've done there um, with the lift it is very noisy. And I think that's probably why it needs the audio turning up even more or possibly better speaker placements because it is so loud now. Yeah, that's the thing. It's trying to get that balance between having the audio not too loud, but then also trying to drown out the sound of the lift hill. Yeah, because the lift hill is uh, really noisy now. Um, then when you went your way to the top, you do that tiny little drop down into the main part of the trough. Uh, it's the same that if you're on that left-hand seat of the boat, um, you'll get water <laughs> flooding in from the side. All depends how many riders there is in with you as well. Uh, and then on the right-hand side, you got a scene with all these lanterns, which looks really cool. I really like them. I think it's a really nice effect. There's quite a few lanterns there. I love the colour and it really adds to the atmosphere as you're going through that scene. You follow on around the trough into one of the best effects in the ride and that is a huge faux fire effect the fake fire which is at either side of the boat and that looks amazing it's been completely redone uh, with this revamp as well which I am really pleased to see I was always worried that oh is that going to be taken out or changed it's been completely redone it looks just like original Valhalla when it opened in year 2000 and that looks amazing both sides it's of the really boat it's really atmospheric it really leads you through and I like it in there now at this point of course it used to um, be open in fact the uh, turntable at the top just there was actually blocked in as much as I'm not a fan of how they've blocked it in from the outside. On the inside, it makes it more immersive because you used to go around there and there was waterfalls at either side and all the light would come in. Now it's fully pitch black around there and it's telling you this storyline. I still can't work out fully what the story is because like I say, the speaker placement needs to be a bit better. However, I do like how they've kind of closed in that scene now and you've just got light kind of peeking through uh, the wooden boards on the it's side. It's more like it was telling you to like turn around. So I'm not too sure, but it's quite good because it's like a UV effect now. So it sort of like goes off and then there's like a UV effect and then you go down the drop. Yeah, so that's on the turntable itself. Obviously, there's no backwards drop anymore, um, but you spin round and then, yeah, make your way down that drop. That's where the on-ride photo is as well. Um, but yeah, I do like that in there now. As much as I do miss that view looking out over the park and Blackpool Tower, I do quite like what they've done with that scene there's now. There's something in there. It's not like it's just blank. They have got something in there to see. Yeah, the whole room, like Charlotte said, has like a UV effect. Uh, which comes on for a few seconds, which is great. Following on from that, of course, it's down the drop. It's not a massive drop, that one. No, just a small one. <laughs> <laughs> just to get you in the mood for the bigger drops later. Um, and then, yeah, you've got like this big statue on the left-hand side, like this big face done in the rocks. And there's a big water splash effect on there that we didn't get last time. Uh, and yeah, it's like a big splash what comes out and it's pretty intense. I'm so that. glad that we didn't get it on the three ride. You got it on your Yeah, on the fourth go. ride. Like, the first time I've seen that effect, it's a big splash what comes out oh, no. uh, and completely soaks you. It like squirts you in the face oh, there. No, um, that's where like the big fan used to be for anybody that remembers the original Valhalla. Following on from that, you've got a bit of a darker scene. Um, that was always the case with the original version of the ride, as you make your way to the ice room. Um, this used to have like real snow and ice effects in there. Um, it is now just a snow machine in there. However, um, it's still got some really nice props in there. What I do like now is the fact that as you get to each prop, um, all these kind of Vikings and statues that are all iced over and frozen, they kind of light up as you move towards them now. I think it's one of them where it's not like everything's lit up in the scene straight away. As you go through, they are lighting up and you've got more to see as you go along, which is great. The soundtrack's really good in there as well, quite atmospheric. And that leads me more onto the soundtrack. There is parts of it that I do really like, and then there's other parts that I just don't really think fit the ride. It's a bit too techno and modern in places for the style of the attraction. Uh, but still, I'll go more onto that later on in the overall summary. Uh, but I do like some of the more quieter parts of the soundtrack, like a plane in the ice room. And that's kind of the end of the dialogue, isn't it, in there it's as well, yeah. um, in that scene. They have still got the statue on the right-hand side, um, this very glamorous lady in there. I'm still not a huge fan of what she's wearing. I think it would be better if she was in more of a Viking attire than I what she is. I don't think it fits very well with the theme at all. I think maybe if they put a cape on her or something, yeah. that would be a bit better. A bit like the performers that were out the front, something like that would be great um, in there. Obviously not actual performers, but in that sort of <laughs> costume, uh, which would be really nice. Yeah, I don't think that fits really 
really that well in there. Um, but still, yeah, it's this very glamorous, silver, yeah, glittery costume. Very glittery. Which I'm not too sure on. But yeah, they've got the snow machines in there. And yeah, it's a lot more atmospheric. And then, of course, you make your way to the first big drop um, in the ride. Drop number two, it's technically. So big. Yeah, it's ridiculously <laughs> steep, this drop. It's like that, isn't it? It is. It is straight down. <laughs> um, there's a, a really cool lighting effect on there as well. And then you make your way down and you will get soaked on that drop. I'm just like this in my poncho when I go down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the world famous water vortex is now back and what really makes it is they light it up as you get close to it so you don't see it in the distance and before you know it you're there and then straight away the vortex is lit up and I think that is incredible I love the vortex you don't get as wet from it as you used to um, but it's a brilliant effect isn't it? I think it's really good how you come down the drop you do not see it then they light it up and it's just like oh my god look at this but it, I'm so glad that they've worked on it and it's not just filling the boat because before it was unbearable that effect a fun little fact for you, it's 300 individual nozzles as it comes over the top and how that works is it needs to make sure that each one is cleaned on a regular basis as it just stops in the middle of the you boat and you get soaked. You need to have one off and it'll just keep yeah, coming in. Yeah, definitely. But uh, no, I'm really pleased they've kept that effect. Uh, I was worried that that wasn't going to come back or we didn't know last time we rode it no. in the rehearsals, it wasn't on. Um, so we've got that effect and it's great and a really nice lighting effect there too. There's then a massive explosion on the left hand side. Um, huge water explosion goes up like 10 meters in the air. And that's the thing with this ride. It's the grand scale of it, the set pieces, which are great. Uh, and then yeah, you've got quite a few lighting effects there too. You then make your way up to the next lift hill uh, where you climb up in the dark. That was always the case with the original Valhalla. There was no real scenes or anything to see there. Um, then you make your way up to the top into the whole top section of the ride, which is very similar to how original Valhalla was. When we experienced it a few weeks ago, none of these effects were really on other than um, the little kind of shooting effect like the bow and arrows where it shoots across and then you've got a real fire effect comes on. Uh, they're on, which are fantastic. Oh, it's so good to see. And it's more that more of the effects are on. The hammers are on. Yes. Got the rolling barrels on, which is great. Yeah, and of course the hammer effect, you see it there in front of you at two sides. And then it lifts up and then comes down and soaks the boat. It's amazing, it's quite terrifying. And then like Charlotte said, the rolling barrel, which comes across the boat, um, about a meter higher than where you're sat, like really cool effect, uh, along with that fire, the real fire on the left. But yeah, that's very similar to original Valhalla. Um, you then make your way into a new scene, where you've got some bells hanging up. Um, you don't see them that well, but it adds something in where there was nothing before, and there's a big crow there as well. I feel like the bells are working a lot better than when we did it in the technical rehearsal. I feel like they've changed the lighting, so they're not as prominent. You can't yeah. see them as much. I think the lighting is a lot better yes. in Valhalla 2.0 than the original version of the ride. Uh, after what we've seen this time, the finished product now, uh, lighting is a lot better. On the left, you've got a new effect, which I think is great. So you've got like these kind of ghost Vikings that are actually on like a track and they come towards the boat. Their eyes sort of glow, glow, but I didn't see them massive because of where I was sat, but they sort of come towards you. I could just see like the eyes coming towards us. Your best view of those is on the left hand side of the boat. If you're on the right side, you don't see them as much, but still what they've done with those is great. And it comes towards the boat as, as a bit of a scare. And then of course you're there at the final drop, which is another huge steep drop um, that you make your way down. And we were at the top of the drop on, the, on that first ride. Um, I was thinking, hang on a minute, I can see flame effects and this is where I got really excited that the ring of fire as it's known it's actually a square um, was actually on and this is fire in the water itself in the trough and it's an amazing effect it's one of the best special effects you will ever see on a ride out there and it's truly terrifying literally the boat comes down and the fire is right in front of you and it only shuts off when the boat gets onto there it's incredible well, it was at the top of the drop it was coming down and i was like covering myself my poncho and sean was like the fire the fire I was like what and we went through and i was like oh my god it's fire i've never seen that before that is such a good effect but it's terrifying it is terrifying like it's so scary that much so you can actually almost taste the gas like and smell it like after you've gone through it like it's incredible but it's so nice to see that on and working consistently all four rides that i had on there that effect was on which is incredible I think it's one of them where that is such a memorable experience for people because they'll be like oh my god i went through a ring of fire or the square of fire people will always remember that it's remarkable like that effect i've never seen anything like that in fact i know for a fact there is not another ride anywhere in the world that has an effect like that and it's incredible it's just so impressive yeah the fire is literally right in front of you you're always it's, it's honestly it's stunning like you need to ride it on the front for that uh, but you do see it further back but on the front it's insane it's scary <laughs> following on from that we had the effect on the left hand side there was a, a fire blast 
there was all fire on the left hand side like there was before um, kind of in the floor like all these logs burning we then went around the corner into the final room where we had two blasts of fire in there as well one on the left and one on the right um, so other than that first scene where they've just replaced the two um, fire effects with fake ones all the real fire is in the attraction, it which I'm really pleased. It really makes the attraction seeing the fire, because it's like it's not just a little blast, they are big blasts of fire, and all, people will always remember that there's fire in there. Yeah, Valhalla has always been a huge part of the experience, and with the fire, what exactly. they do on there. Um, Valhalla is well known across the world for all of that, and I tell you what, I am so pleased they've kept that, especially with operating costs shooting up these past few years, energy prices. I really do appreciate the fact that the Blackboard Pleasure Beach have done that. What is flying over? Uh, there's something flying <laughs> It's really noisy. Um, but um, yeah, just the fact they've kept that effect in there is amazing. Yeah, it's nice that they have kept it and not taken it away because it would have took it away from the experience. Oh, it really would. So I'm pleased we've got that. And then, of course, you exit to the outdoor section. What they've done with Valhalla, um, I actually think there's parts of the ride now that are better than the original. There's a couple of bits which I preferred in the original. And I'm going to say that's the ice room. I thought that was better in the original ride. I think what made the ice room in the original ride was how cold it was yeah. when you went in that. I do miss going in and it not being freezing cold so I do miss that aspect of it and also going back to the thing that I spoke about a lot the soundtrack there's parts of it which I do like and there's other parts which I don't think fit the experience I do like how we can hear it a bit better now but that's where they need to um, invest now in my opinion um, it's just some more speakers around the ride some maybe positioned above the boat I know it's hard you've got a massive building there there's water everywhere putting tech in there for speakers it is hard to know where to place things to stop them getting soaked even like waterproof speakers and stuff in there all the time getting a constant battery in, it's not gonna last so yeah they've really got to think about that um, but yeah, it's, it's better than it was a few weeks ago. We yeah, you need to think about the placement and the soundtrack itself. There's parts of it um, that I like. There's other parts that I don't think fit because it's too dancey, too electronic. Um, I think the new soundtrack should just maybe play it outside and in the station. And I would love to have had the old soundtrack playing oh, in the ride again. I loved again. the old soundtrack. It was just fantastic and it was just so memorable. It was indeed, you know, but uh, I'm very pleased with what they've done with the ride. It's certainly like a Valhalla 2.0 now. And um, there's parts of it, like I said, like the faux fire, looks the best it ever has done the real fire at the end looks the best i've seen it for a very long time um, some of the other changes they've made i like what they've done to the turntable as much as we don't have the backwards drop now did that really add that much to the ride before now it's all closed in up there it is more immersive when you enter into that building now you don't see the outside world until the end of the experience instead of seeing out and seeing the daylight so it kind of makes it in a way because you don't see that daylight until you get to the end instead of seeing it when you're on that turn yeah so I, I can understand why they've done that now i don't really like how it looks at the outside i wish they'd done some rocks over that uh, but overall uh, i'm really pleased with it it's certainly a world-class ride once again and uh, yeah i just want to say a big well done to the team that's finally got Huge this open welder. it might have took a lot longer than they were expecting and amanda said that earlier on in the little um bit that she did there. Uh, however, it's back open uh, with a bang here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. It's Valhalla, and I'm really pleased to see right, it back. We really appreciate all the time and effort that has gone into making this attraction back again. It's a world-class ride, it really is. Anyway, are you feeling hungry, Charlotte? I'm really hungry, actually. We're going to head inside Loki's now. In fact, we're just up here on the balcony. We're going to head inside because they're putting a bit of food for us yeah, in here. I think we've got rotisserie chickens. Let's go and have a little look. And here we are then, inside Loki's Bar, which is back open, and yeah, it's a full restaurant now. It is indeed, and they're serving rotisserie chickens. Hey, there you go, have a look at that. That looks so good. There you go, have a nice meal inside here. Yeah. I've just gone for a light snack, there's some fries for now, and we've also got some special Valhalla donuts, I'll show you them in just a moment. But yeah, it's great to see this back open, it it's is. really well themed in here. Take for a look upstairs in just a moment as well, this is the lower level. There you go. Mm. Here we go then, here's a look at the Valhalla Krispy Kreme Donuts. So yeah, gonna have a little taste of this and see what it's like. Well, how was your food there, Charlotte? Honestly, for theme park food, that was absolutely fantastic. A lovely rotisserie chicken, really good quality, that was, I loved it. Yeah, and the donut was quite nice as well. Yeah, really yeah jam I gave inside. you the jam in the middle. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> fantastic. I just thought I'd show you upstairs here in Loki's. As you can see, you got all this. <laughs> nice with the seating, the big horn just up there. And some great views looking out. Well, yeah, fun fact for you, Charlotte. This actually used to be the station for the old cable car, oh, just in here. Hotel, yeah, it? that's why it's shaped <coughs> this way. I mean, the station on the other side is where the toilets are on the other side of the park. Yeah, this is where you used to get on and off, just in here, and go on a tour above the park, getting an aerial view. But yeah, it's so nice to see Loki's back open, and you get a fantastic view looking out at Valhalla there as well. 
Well, there we go. And now the sun is shining here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. And I tell you what, it's great to finally see Valhalla officially now back open here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Three years closed, we missed it so much, but you know what? It's back and it's back with a bang. I've really enjoyed it today, getting them full rides on there. And you know what? It makes me just want to jump on there again now, even though I've changed my clothes. And that's a sign of a good ride in my opinion. It's great to have it back. We've been talking about this ever since it closed back in 2019, but finally, three years on, the Valhalla saga has oh, come to an end. No. It's bad. Again. You can just go on with those clothes. On <laughs> I am tempted. I am tempted. You know what? Before we go home, I might need to go on one more time. We'll the see. Oh, okay. I tell you what, though. Finally, just to see this ride back home, people out here enjoying it. The waterfalls on, the mist outside, and of course, world class effects inside, making it one of the most unique and awesome dark rides out there. I just can't believe it. We've been talking about this so many videos over the past few years talking it's about so nice it. To find out it again and when the summer's signing it's going to be lovely and that's it technical rehearsals are over the ride's open all the boards came down earlier this year that is it i can't believe it we've spoke about it in so many vlogs these past few years dedicated videos we've filmed to it and it's like the end of an era in a way it's back open but i'm really pleased that it is I'm really happy as well. valhalla at blackpool pleasure beach and that brings us to the end of our vlog here from Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Valhalla officially back open. What a day it's been. We just want to say a huge thank you to the park for inviting us to the official launch of Valhalla today as well. Oh, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. And just to get some on-ride footage of us actually on there is great. I know you can see loads in some areas. However, footage of us with the fake fire, along with that, the vortex. That was You'll great see footage. Me screaming. Yeah, Moses is covering your nose like this throughout. But uh, no, really nice to get that footage. All the years I've been riding it since year 2000, never actually had any footage of me on the ride. So that's really nice. A special memento for today nice as to well. Take you along with us. Yeah, definitely. But uh, thanks so much for joining us here on Theme Park Worldwide. We're actually going to be back at Blackpool Pleasure Beach very soon in the next few days for a walk on the Big yeah, Dipper. We're going to be walking the Big Dipper. I'm so excited. Of course, the ride is about to celebrate 100 years of operation here at Pleasure Beach. And yeah, we're going for a walk on there, which is going to be absolutely awesome. One of the experiences that they offer here at the park. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be coming up very soon here on Theme Park Worldwide. But I can't believe it we've got to this point it's back open Valhalla and uh, yeah make sure you come down here to the park come and give it a ride let us know your thoughts down below in the video How comments <laughs> yeah definitely and also remember with this ride the effects are very temperamental my best advice for you will be getting on it straight away on a morning I know it's not ideal for a massive water ride, ride uh, but ride it early in the day for the best effects on there get your poncho on you'll be fine <laughs> it's always been the case of Valhalla the effects can be quite unreliable but you know what it's back and uh, I'm really pleased that it is we've really enjoyed it thanks for joining us here on theme park worldwide and that leaves me with one final thing to say get out there and keep on riding see you in the next video